Hi all. Today we'll be discussing about one of the electrode used in pharmaceutical analysis that is dropping mercury electrode. This a uh, dropping mercury electrode it is one of the electrode used in electroanalytical method that is polarography. So it is a working electrode or we can say indicator electrode used in polarography as we all know in polarography we will be using two types of electrode that is indicator electrode and a reference electrode so this dropping mercury electrode is a working or we can say it is an indicator electrode so it consists of a mercury drop hanging at the orifice of a fine bore glass capillary so that means in dropping mercury electrode a new mercury drop is formed at a particular time intervals so a new electrode surface is formed every time so the mercury flows through this capillary from the mercury reservoir at a rate of few milligrams per second the lifetime of each drop is three to five seconds so as you see in this picture you can see a mercury drop so a new mercury drop is formed through this um, capillary at a time interval of three to five seconds to so every three to five seconds a new mercury drop is formed from the capillary at the orifice of the fine bore glass capillary so now we will see the construction and working of a dropping mercury electrode so here is a, a construction of a dropping mercury electrode so you can see there is a mercury reservoir here and it is attached to the flexible tubing and this flexible tubing is connected to a capillary glass capillary and this mercury drop formed at the orifice of this capillary at around three to five seconds intervals so here um, this is it is dipped in an analyte solution the concentration needs to be find out and we can see this is a reference electrode and this is a auxiliary electrode so this is simple construction of a dropping mercury electrode so now we will see the construction and working of dropping mercury electrode in detail so as we said dropping mercury electrode consists of mainly two parts that is one is a mercury reservoir and the second is a capillary tube so first we will uh, discuss about the mercury reservoir so it consists of a mercury reservoir bulb of about 100 ml capacity so this mercury is stored in this mercury reservoir and it has a capacity of 100 ml and the reservoir is clamped in a vertical position and connected by flexible tubing to a glass capillary so there is a mercury reservoir and it is connected to a flexible tubing which is then connected to further connected to a glass capillary tube so this mercury reservoir is raised in appropriate height on the stand so always uh, this mercury reservoir should be clamped in a vertical position otherwise the position of the reservoir should be same to get a reproducible results throughout the experiment so it is very important to keep this reservoir in a vertical position uh, stationary because otherwise we won't get a reproducible results results for the ex for our experiment so the second part of this dropping mercury electrode is a capillary tube the glass capillary tube is nearly 7 cm in length and it has got 0.5 mm in diameter these are the parameters of this glass capillary tube and uh, the one end of the capillary tube is attached to the flexible tube and the other end of the capillary tube dips under the surface of the solution to be analyzed so 
our capillary tube one in end is attached to the flexible tubing which is further attached to the mercury reservoir and the other end is dipped in a solution to be analyzed and uh, the drops of mercury comes from the capillary continuously the drops of mercury are identical with diameters of 0.5 to 1 millimeters the lifetime of individual drop is nearly equal to 3 to 6 seconds so in every 3 to say 3 seconds new mercury drops are coming out of the capillary continuously and uh, the great peculiarity of this dropping mercury electrode is that each drops forms a new electrode that is its surface is unaffected by process taking place on the previous drop hence each drop represents a well reproducible electrode with a fresh clean surface so uh, along with this indicator electrode that is our dropping mercury electrode in polarography we will be using a second electrode that is called reference electrode and its potential remains constant during the measurement so the potential of the indicator electrode varies because it is a working electrode and its potential will be varying according to the applied voltage so here it varies in course of measurement of current voltage curve because of the change in applied voltage so there are some uh, precautions that we need to take care of while using a dropping mercury electrode that is the first thing is that the capillary of the dropping mercury electrode should be very clean and should be vertically mounted as i said before it should be vertically mounted otherwise we won't get a reproducible experiment results otherwise the dropping time and size and shape of the mercury drop will not be reproducible the mercury must be extra pure the capillary tip is immersed in 1 is to 1 nitric acid before its use. Now coming to the advantages of dropping mercury electrode. The first thing is that the surface of the mercury drop is smooth, continuously renewed and reproducible, which limits the effect of contamination and poisoning at the electrode surface. The next advantage is that mercury forms amalgam with many metals so it is used for the analysis of many metals the third is that the surface area of the mercury drop can be calculated from the weight of the drop the fourth point since the electrode is continuously renewed series of reducible species can be estimated in the given solution and the last one is that it can be used over a range of plus 0.4 volt to minus 2.6 volts below 0.4 volt hydrogen is produced and above 0.4 volt mercury is oxidized so it is used to find any species between the range of 0.4 volt to minus 2.6 volt so these are the advantages of dropping mercury electrode finally the disadvantages of dropping mercury electrode the area of the micro electrode changes as the size of the drop changes so the area will not be the same all the time so it may vary according to the size of the drop that is a main advantage of this dropping mercury electrode the mercury may easily oxidized and thus dropping mercury electrode can be used only for the analysis of reducible or easily oxidizable substances the third disadvantage is mercury is costly and poisonous the fourth point is that the capillary is difficult to maintain dust particles may block the capillary the final point this electrode generates some small currents like residual or migration current which causes error in the measurements so these are the disadvantages of dma
so that covers dropping mercury electrode its construction working advantages and disadvantages hope you all like it thank you